Today on the show, we are going to simplify this expression, all right? So one of our first steps that we want to do, we want to turn this into a sum, but we also want to get rid of some of those parentheses that we see here, all right? So let's begin here. We want to take 5 times 2 plus w. Now remember, if that was 2 plus 3, I could add those two together and then multiply it. But we have w, and w is an unknown variable. We're not sure what it is yet. So let's go ahead and start this out. 5 times 2, what is it? 5, 10, yeah, 10. All right, so I'm going to put an equal sign here, and I'm going to put 10 plus 5 times w, 5w. I'm always curious, like, what is W? When am I going to find out what W is? All right. Um, so now we're going to add this part of the expression. So I'm going to put the plus sign here. 3 times 5W, 5, 10, 15. <laughs> 15W. Got to make math fun. Just got to do it. 3 times 4, 12. Yeah, plus 12. All right, now we're going to look for like terms to combine and just kind of see, you know, things that might have in common. So we got the 5w and we got the 15w. I think we can add those two together. So let's go ahead and put that equal sign again right here. So 15 plus 5 is 20. All right, 20w plus, and just kind of uh, write what's ever left over right here, 10 plus 12. All right, now we're going to look for constants to combine. So the 10 and the 12, I think we can add those. What is 10 plus 12? Yeah, 22. So I'm going to put the equal sign here again. 20w plus 22. All right. That is the answer. That was easy cheesy lemon squeezy. Hey, let's do another problem. Ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Boom. All right, ready to do it? All right, so we have 6c plus 9 minus 3c. The c is the unknown variable. All right, let's go ahead and turn this into a sum. Now we could put 6c. Now remember, when we're doing problems like that, there's always different ways on how you can go about it. 6c plus 9 plus the negative 3c. We can turn that into like a negative 3c. All right, so plus a negative 3c. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that 3c because that's a c right here. And that's a c right there. It kind of belongs to the same family. So I'm going to bring that over here. 6c plus a negative 3c plus 9. Now, there's different ways on how you can go about doing that. I mean, you could take 6 minus 3 and then put the C right there. Or you could just say 6C minus 3C. I mean, come on. It's going to be 3C. All right, same thing right here. So you got the 3 and then you got the C. So however you want to do it, doesn't matter as long as you come up with the same answer. So I don't want to get this too complicated, but I mean, you could have done that step right here. 6C minus 3C, all right, is 3C. So if you wanted to kind of skip this part, whatever, comes up with the same answer. So I have 3C plus 9. Boom, there it is. Job done. Ready to do one more? Yes, let's do it, yeah. Boom. We want to get rid of those parentheses, don't we? We want to simplify it. So let's turn this into a sum. 6 times w minus 4. All right. We don't know what w is. Unknown variable. All right. So we got 6w. 6 times 4. So remember, just kind of refresh a little bit. We do 6 times w and then 6 times 4. Okay. So 6 times 4 is 24. Yeah. Don't forget that subtraction sign, 24, right there. Plus w, don't have to do anything to it, just a plus a w, all right, plus 9. How many w's do you think are right there? Yeah, it's 1. 
they don't put the one there, they just put a W, but it's, it's one W. All right, now what we want to do is look for terms to combine. Basically, you look for his cousin. Anybody has a W on the end of it or a W? Yeah, we got one right there. Okay, so 6W plus, if you want to, you can put the one there, doesn't matter, plus W, and then we have negative 24 right there. It says, it says minus 24, but it's a negative 24 right there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put plus a negative 24 plus 9, all right? So now I'm going to add these right here. 6w plus w is 7w, all right, all right, now we have negative 24 and 9, so negative 24 plus 9 would be negative 15, all right, negative 15, okay. We don't need that plus, do we? No, we do not need that plus. So <laughs> we just go 7w minus 15 right there. That is the answer. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Hey, I think you're going to do a great job. Just have fun with it. The main thing is, is try to get rid of those parentheses, simplify it, look for like terms to combine, look for like constants to combine, and like always, have a fun time with mathematics. Hey, check out my other channels on here. Make sure you subscribe wherever that subscribe button is. Look for it, hit it, and have a beautiful, fun day. Adios.